What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to address a comment that I actually received on one of my older videos. Um, I'm probably going to pronounce his name totally wrong, but Krishniel Do Dalawar, again, apologies if I pronounced that wrong, I probably did, asked the question, could you do a tips and tricks video for your 2017 S3? So I did a little bit of research on YouTube and what I've noticed is there's a lot of videos about tips and tricks for the S3. But the way it's done is that each one of the videos shows like one tip. So what I decided was I'll go ahead and put a larger video together that has all the tips and tricks on it um, for things that I've found as I've you know gone through my three years of ownership with the S3. So uh, we'll take a look at that. But before we do that, I really need to wash the car because it rained like crazy yesterday. And obviously I had to drive in it because I had to go to work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that washed first and then we'll get into the tips and tricks. All right, so there we go, much better, nice and clean now as you can see in the background. Uh, the way that I've set up this video is that I put the more well-known tips and tricks towards the front of the video. So if you're not really familiar with the S3, you probably wanna start there and just watch the whole way through. Uh, if you had an S3 for a while, uh, there's a couple of them that are lesser known. You may still know what they are, but um, you could probably just skip towards the end of the video to see what those are. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so the first one uh, that I'm bringing up is the rear fog lights. And some of you may not be familiar with this, but there is a button in the vehicle. So we'll get in here real quick and take a look at that. Open up the door here. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see next to your headlights, uh, you have this button down here at the bottom. And what that does is it turns on your rear rear fog light. And then I'll give you a little clip of what those look like at night. They're very bright if um, you're riding from behind the car. Uh, they're, you kind of think that the person's actually driving with their brake lights on, but um, it's just it's just the rear fog light. So the next one I wanna talk about is syncing the um, auto, I guess, climate control in the S3. Again, this is a really probably well-known tip, but some of you guys might not be familiar with it, so I figured I'd just throw it in there. Um, so as you can see on mine right now, it's set up so that the person on the right-hand side or your passenger um, is set at 84 degrees, and these are you know independent of each other. Uh, real easy thing to do here. All you gotta do is hold the auto button, and what it does is it'll sync the passenger side to the driver side and you can see here that they are in sync with each other. Real easy to do, very well known, but I figure I'd throw it in there anyway. So for the next little tip, we're actually gonna go to the trunk of the car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up the trunk. Let's get out of here, walk to the back. So some of you guys probably know about this. This is your standard trunk in the S3. Um, tiny trunk in case you guys are wondering. Um, there's a little thing that's hidden up here. Hopefully you guys can see it. This little pull tab here. So you pull that down, that's actually a grocery hook and it only comes with one, but you can actually install another one over here on the right hand side if you want to. But obviously this is really nice in case you know you're carrying groceries in the car and you don't want everything dumping all over the back of your trunk. Uh, just hang on from this little uh, grocery hook and you'll be good to go. And another one that's probably well known is the parking brake disengage. So here you can see that the parking brake is on. We're in park right now. Uh, one quick way to get out of it without having to hit this button down here is we'll put the car in drive. And this actually works in uh, reverse as well. So my foot's on the brake. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly tap the gas and what it's gonna do is it's gonna disengage the parking brake. So as you can see, and we're starting to move. So if you forget to turn off your parking brake, the car is smart enough to know that um, you need to turn it off uh, before you get going. So it will do that for you when you go to hit the gas. So I'm sure some of you guys probably already know this. It's a very well-known thing, but um, when you put the car in reverse, the passenger side mirror will actually dip for you so you can see the uh, the curb, so you don't run over the curb and you know trash your wheels. Uh, the way that you would do that is over here on the driver's side, you'll see you have your mirror, um, I guess, knob here, adjustment knob. 
uh, you got to make sure that it's turned over here to the passenger side. So once you do that, see over here, I put the car in reverse, you'll see that it dips down. Now you can actually adjust that um, to your liking. And what you have to do is, you know, once you put it in reverse like that, come back over here and you can make your adjustments to it. So I'm, you know, push it down a little bit and you can see I'm making adjustments. And what it does is once you've done that, it actually remembers that setting. So that's how you adjust the height of the, uh, the mirror dip. All right, so now that the S3 is starting to get some age on it, you probably have thought about changing the windshield wipers on it. But one of the problems is, is when you go to lift it up, you'll notice that it hits the hood of the car. So you really have a lot of trouble changing them. Well, there's a little trick to that. So we'll go inside the car here and I'll show you what we can do. All you gotta do is you gotta hit the start button, put it in accessory mode. The car is not actually turned on. I guess the engine's not actually turned on, I should say. Um, go ahead and turn it back off and then we'll go to the windshield wiper stalk here. If you press and hold down on this, you'll see that the wipers now come up. So what you can do is go back out to the front and now you can actually lift them up and you can change your windshield wipers, no problem. So one of the really cool things about the new steering wheels on the S3s is they come with this little star button here. And this is a special button because what you can do is you can actually set it up to do exactly what you want. Now there's a couple settings that they give you, I think it's like five or six of them. Um, I have mine set to where it changes the uh, drive select mode. So if I press this, brings up drive select and you can see as I'm pressing the button, it switches through the different modes. Now you can change that. And the way that you would do that is we'll go ahead and just go back here and we're back at the main screen. If you go to vehicle and then if you press over here on the left hand side, cause we're getting into the menu and scroll down to vehicle settings. Once you're in there, you can click the steering wheel button. And then these are the options that you can actually use on the star button here on the steering wheel. So you can do change the drive select uh, you can turn voice guidance on or off. That's for the built-in navigation system that has nothing to do with CarPlay. Uh, you can change the day-night map, um, so it changes whether it's bright or dark. You can show hide traffic messages. Again, you have to have the, um, the Audi service to be able to do that. And then um, you can switch to you know radio slash media using that button there. So I get a lot of questions about this because people have seen on my Instagram and stuff like that that I've had a different layout for my virtual cockpit. And you can actually change that. There's two different options in the system. And I'll show you guys how to change that real quick. So if we go into the virtual cockpit here, um, if we scroll to the, it's not even scrolling. If you hit this button here on the left, it's gonna bring, bring up the menu here. So if we go to, layout there we go layout you can either go between the sport display which is the one that i have currently on there that's probably the default setting that comes on your car so that's probably how yours is set up but you can switch down to the classic layout and you'll see that it actually gives you two dials so if i go ahead and set that um let's see it takes a few seconds don't do it while you're driving obviously so here you can see it is uh loading the new layout this takes a little bit of time but there you go. So now you can see that you have the two gauges on here. Now, a couple things to take note with this. Um, it does not show a boost gauge on here. Obviously, it's not really that important in this car because you're not, unless of course you're tuned and you have bigger turbos, all that kind of stuff. You're not really gonna care too much about the uh, the boost gauge that comes in the sport layout. I mean, another thing it doesn't do, is it doesn't show you the oil temperature that shows in the sport gauges. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But um, this is another option in case you get bored with the sport layout. So you can see going through here. And just a couple different options gives you a bigger screen to look at i guess you could say so one of the things that people ask me all the time about my car is how do i keep the exhaust tips so clean um, a lot of the ones that you guys have probably seen are probably sooted up on the interior um there we go the interior um exhaust tips and the reason for that is it builds up on those a lot more because uh those are actually open all the time uh, these exhausts do have valves in them, and when you're really flooring it, um, all four of them are open. But um, during normal driving conditions, it, it just all comes through those center two pipes. So um, I'm going to overlay a little video here 
of what I actually use to clean my tips. I actually do it every single week and that's how I keep them shiny like this. If you don't do it every week, it's really gonna build up on there and eventually you're not gonna be able to get them clean. So the thing that I recommend, a little tip for you guys, is just to get out there, take 30 seconds and take some of this um, metal polish that I have. I actually use Chemical Guys, it's their light polish. Um, just use that once a week and it cleans them real good and you don't have to worry about that soot buildup. So a lot of you guys probably already know this little trick, uh, but we're gonna get out the uh, key fob for the car. So as you can see, the windows and the sunroof are currently open. It's getting ready to start rain. You can see all the clouds out here. Not, not clouds over here, but there's clouds over here. It's getting ready to rain. So I don't wanna get in the car to actually roll the windows up. You can do it from the key fob. So if you press, lock the button, go ahead and press and hold the lock. Let's see if this works you can start to see that the windows are going up and the sunroof is going to the closed position. And this also works in the reverse order as well. So if you press um, unlock and if you press and hold it, these should open back up. So you can see the sunroof tilted up and then the windows went down. So that works for the, uh, the key fob here in the US. Might be different in other places in the world, but that's how it works here. So a little tip for you guys here in the United States. If you really want to have mirrors that automatically fold up uh, when you lock the doors or when you park the vehicle, you have to upgrade to the Prestige model. If you have a Premium Plus model from the factory, the mirrors will not fold. So I do have a Prestige model here. Um, if I go ahead and hit the lock button here on the key fob, you'll see that the mirrors automatically fold up. And that is a setting in the system to where you can actually turn that on or off. Um, obviously, most of you guys, if you are in a prestige model, you, you know, you paid a lot extra for that. Um, so you're probably going to want to turn that on. It's pretty crazy that in order to get that, you have to get the top of the line uh, S3 here in the United States. It's absolutely crazy to me. But if you really want to have the folding mirrors, get a prestige model. All right, so this is a fun little trick that I uh, actually just figured out a couple weeks ago, which is crazy because I've had the car for, you know, three years now. But we're cruising along here in sixth gear. I'm over in manual mode. Say if uh, you're driving on the highway and you get into some kind of emergency situation where you really need to get some speed really fast, all you have to do is press the gas pedal down all the way to the kick down, and it'll automatically downshift the car without you having to do anything on the stick. So if I uh, go ahead and hit the kick down now, you'll see, see it just downshifted to third gear. So it gets you into some of the power um, in, you know, in case you really need it. And I'm not sure if it'll, it does not upshift for you. So you will have to re-upshift after you've done that. So here we're doing it here with the stick again. Yeah, let's try that again. So we're riding here in sixth gear and we'll go ahead and kind of focused. We'll go ahead and hit the kick down with the gas pedal and you'll see it just downshifts automatically to third. It's pretty sweet. All right, so there you guys have it. Um, a lot of these things you guys probably already know about, a couple of them you may not. Uh, I figured I'd just put a video together so that you guys could see um, all the tips and tricks that I've come up with over the past three years. Um, I'm really interested, if you guys know of any other ones that are out there, uh, put it down in the comments so that everybody else can see what's going on um, so that they're aware of all the tips and tricks um, that we have for our S3s. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, obviously like the video, it really helps me out. Leave comments. Oh, Always appreciate when you guys do that. Um, I go through there, and if you guys have any you know questions, stuff like that, I'll come back and I'll address them in some of the videos which I've done here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to reflect and never settle. Oh.